Hello and welcome to the last live stream of 2020. Okay, so this brings to the end a really busy year for us, but you've tuned in hopefully, because not only is it the uh, last live stream of 2020, it's the last live feed event. And what does live feed event mean, Gordon? It means we give away things, Garrett. And Let's somebody... give some prizes away then. So let's start off by giving stuff away. Huh? No, I can't give away yet. All oh, right, okay. So we will be giving away some prizes. We've got a massive box of prizes down here. This has been one as well. Yeah. And if you stay tuned, I've got a funny feeling we're going to be quite generous over the festive period with some more giveaways. But you're going to have to hold on to find out what the new version of the giveaways, which will be done over the Christmas period. Mm. Right, we normally that start well, I with... I won a prize as well. You, you have won a prize, young man. Yeah, we'll get to that. You've won a prize this evening. It's worth staying on as well for the review. We've done a review today of the Makita coffee maker. Delicious. Yeah, it's really? brilliant. Mm. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Oh. So make sure you stay on for that one. So we're going to start off, as we always do, with news and rumours. So mm. what would you like to start off? Is it news or is it a rumour? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's some news, Gary. Oh, right. Like so, yeah, news. so Joe's Joe's been... Uh, yeah, Who's Joe's Joe? been... Biz Joe. Joe Robinson, remember? Oh yeah, he used to do some He's videos. He's the guy who looks like that other television bloke. Um, uh, pointless. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, Joe looks television bloke. He's not pointless. Okay. So Joe's been very busy. He's produced some more CPDs. And we all love a CPD, especially one when it's free. He, oh, right, a free CPD. We're loving it. So so free CPD. So, so you'd like to think, how do I find these free CPDs? And you get a certification with it and go in your record of achievement folder. Well, let's find out. So let's have a look how we're going to find these free CPDs. It's uh, efix.co.uk. Go to the Know How tab at the top. Slightly different phone, uh, laptop, and iPad. So go to Know How, scroll down, and in this section here, you'll find currently four CPDs. They're added all the time. We've got three in association with Luden on surge, caravans, and industrial sockets, and one on uh, fire rated downlights from Ansil. So all of those are free CPDs. Click on them, complete the CPD training, and you will receive a certificate as stated within the terms and conditions of the CPD. We've also got the eFix Apprentice Hub, which is worth checking out. So the eFix Apprentice Hub tab's there. And in this section, there's some handy handouts in Teacher's Corner just there. Well, that's something for people to keep busy with over the break that's coming along. And uh, yeah, so bear with us on those certificates as well. Some people even found those on the websites before we'd, <laughs> we'd even officially launched them. <laughs> Sent so, them all over Instagram for yeah, us, didn't they? Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, so, yeah, pile in. Uh, yeah, so we've been, uh, with that and the Apprentice Hub, we've been inundated with, uh, with, uh, yeah, with requests, obviously people are doing those and obviously people want their certificates uh, to the point where it overwhelmed our license agreement on the stuff. So I've got some <laughs> negotiations to do to catch up on them uh, to get them out. So do bear with us on that. And we'll probably revisit some of the systems in the new year to get that a little bit more efficient. But uh, yeah, but don't put you off. Go on there. Those CPDs are brilliant. Joe's been busily working away for months on those. And there is a couple more sitting back there that will, again, just appear on that page. So if you find the Know How tab and you think, oh, there's four there now, by the time you go back to it, you might find there's six, seven, eight, etc. We're going to keep yeah. adding those on through 2021. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been talking about Joe. And, you know, obviously, it, it would be nice to catch up with what Joe's up to at the moment, wouldn't it? Yeah, and obviously, we're getting to that, you know, stage again, near Christmas, and it's time to start thinking about relaxing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, Gary, it is time to pop over to Regulation Corner. Oh, I love Regulation Corner. <laughs> Hello, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Regulation Corner. Take a seat, get comfortable. Maybe pour yourself a drink. You know, I've just been sitting here with my JCC Radioled Rapid and it really got me thinking about a much overlooked but absolutely classic regulation. Let me share it with you. It's Regulation 559.5.2. Follow along with me. Adequate means to fix luminaires shall be provided. The fixing means may be mechanical accessories, e.g. hooks or screws, boxes or enclosures, which are able to support luminaires or supporting devices for connecting a luminaire. In places where the fixing means is intended to support a luminaire, the fixing means shall be capable of carrying a mass of not less than 5 kilograms. If the mass of the luminaire is greater than 5 kilograms, a fixing means capable of supporting the mass of the luminaire shall be installed. The installation of the fixing means shall be in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. 
the weight of luminaires and their eventual accessories, e.g. shades, shall be compatible with the mechanical capability of the ceiling or suspended ceiling or supporting structure where installed. Any flexible cable between the fixing means and the luminaire shall be installed so that any expected stresses in the conductors, terminals and terminations will not impair the safety of the installation. Would you not agree that the best regulations are the ones that make you look into the depths of your being and really make you want to be a better person? Just think about that for a minute. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting carried away. I'm sure you've got places to be and luminaires to fix. Thanks for stopping by and the next time you're passing, drop in, say hello. You know there's always a place for you here at Regulation Corner. Good night. Just puts you in the mood, doesn't he? Relaxes it does. you out. It's, it does. It's all, yeah, just great. We love a regulation corner. Nice to see that Joe was taking on some red wine now, wasn't he? Yeah, red wine. Yeah, can't uh, can't give up. I think he's had a new haircut by the looks of it as well, Gary. So. But if it was my lawn, his haircut, I think it needs a little more seeding. <laughs> I would suggest <laughs> well, in places. Spring is just around the corner. So yeah, it was a good, yeah, yep. good time to get out and scatter, I think, Joe. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think he was having red wine now. I think in the, the first regulation corner, I think he tucked into a single malt whiskey, and we know how he, um, he likes a little tipple. And don't you believe that people that maybe disguise having an alcoholic beverage? Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, perhaps, apple juice the first time, yeah, Ribena yeah, this time. But um, maybe yeah. they're uh, known to delve into the alcoholic beverage. That's not yeah. true with Joe, by the way. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so with that in mind, I think it's time to take got a few. Got a few. We've got a first time caller from, from, from the Netherlands in the shape of Dark Death. So it's good to see some people coming in from overseas to enjoy some hopefully humour ish. Yeah, no, no, not really. no, no, no. Wait, we've got, we got, we got some good stuff coming up. Secret Millionaires on. Secret Craig Millionaires, Gifford. yeah. And so's our good friend Ben Everson. We saw him on. He was very early on when he, we, we responded to him as well. Yeah. So, Hold on. what haven't we seen of Craig's, Gary? Craig, we haven't seen one of these yet. Craig yeah. got one of these for coming up and doing the uh, challenge wall. Yeah. As seen on the eFix YouTube channel, and I've yet to see it on social yeah, media. Yeah, we haven't seen it on social media yet. Yeah, Not and, at all. Uh, but if you'd like to get one of those, then yeah, drop us a line, and we'll glad you. you can come along as our guest, and you can have a crack at the uh, eFix Challenge Wall. Okay, sounds like good. Yeah, and, sounds uh, fun. Yeah, or if you'd like to come along and uh, yeah, help with some tool reviews and things like that, you get the coveted eFix Grey T-shirt. Brilliant. Yeah, and that's what Craig did both, didn't he? he did a tool yes. review with us, and he did the uh, Challenge Wall. So. If, if Joe was having a non-alcoholic beverage, as he, he would have in the evening, um, I think it's time maybe to have one that can stimulate mind and body. One mm. maybe that's deep in caffeine, Gordon. Coffee. As, uh, There's as... nothing like freshly brewed coffee. No, though. there is nothing like freshly brewed coffee. And it's time now for the long-awaited review of the Makita Coffee Mayor. This one's a good one. Today we're going to take a look at the Makita Coffee Maker and I'm going to take some convincing because I've seen it being used over the last six months and a lot of mopping up and a lot of disastrous coffees, so stay tuned. Time to smell the coffee, Gary. Good luck. Oh, this should be fun. Yeah, well, do you want to see? Well, I'll, I'll crack straight on. So this is the Makita Coffee Machine. We've featured it a lot in our live streams and a lot of people have asked me a lot of questions about it, Gary. And so I thought it's time to, yeah, let's do a proper review. So I'll okay. crack on. Okay, yeah, lovely. So Look cup, it comes with a nice cup. Yeah. And because it's a Makita coffee maker, it's actually powered by a battery, isn't it? It is, it's a battery powered coffee maker. And machine. how does the electricity get into the battery? Well, you have mains power, charge it up So you home. still need to charge it up, right, yeah. okay. So it still yeah. works on the mains effectively yeah. then. So I'm gonna plug this, so this is a three amp hour battery. Okay, yeah. It has 54 watt hours of power in it. And how many watts is the coffee machine itself? So this will work at, yeah, it's up to 300 watts on Ooh. this LXT battery, which is the ones we used on our first generation Makita tools. Also uses the CXT, which we don't have. Okay. But Let's get down to the count the guts. So I need to put some water oh, in the first. The tiniest chamber in the world. How many cups of coffee can we get out of that? One well, inch? It'll do 240 milliliters. Okay, so the question was how many cups of coffee am I going to get well, out of that? That's one of these. Ah, so we're going to get one cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, no, so I just have to top it very, up. So. Very generous of you to make yourself one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so there goes in the selfish water okay, for the one cup of coffee, yeah. Oh no, it's Efix uh, Taplan tap tap Springs. I thought it was selfish flavoured. Yeah. Okay, so, so it goes in the top there. So you got it right way around. Right Normally, most of this comes out onto the table and the floor, doesn't it? You know, it tends to oh. leak a lot, doesn't it? And the feature, little spoon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So here's where I put the coffee. Oh, right, this okay. Yeah. Filter here. Yeah. I could you also use this version here if I wanted to put a bag in there. I have put tea bags in there in the past. All oh, right, okay. Which I think was probably responsible oh, for the water. What have we got there? Ah, Taylor's. Mm. Mm, very nice, eh? Yeah. It's Welcome all about to 1992. Quality. The Yuffie's back. It's all about quality coffee, this guy. So yeah, I'm going to okay. dump that in there. Okay, so the, the coffee goes in there. Taylor's. I love a Taylor's. Normally with cheese and biscuits, and normally one that's more than 10 years old. Yeah, is that the sort of tailors we're talking about? Port, port Gary, that's an, oh, right. that's, that's, something else, that's isn't an it? old man's drink. Okay. Yeah. Right, so I'll just pop that in there, nice satisfying click that goes in there, okay. and then switch it on. Wow. And what, we're talking 20, 30 seconds for it to be ready? Oh, no, it's got, to, it's got to build up the aroma. And brew, you know, that's what happens on coffee. So you've brought along your traditional uh, method there. What's what you got there? That's, it's, it's called a kettle. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a kettle here. Uh, they work also on electricity and it's the mains variety that charge your battery up. So you could almost say that this is battery powered as well in reverse, isn't it? Because yours is mains charged as well. So yep, turn it on and what happens is it boils the water quite quickly and then you make yourself a beverage. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's yeah. picture this. We're on site. Let's yeah. not. I don't want to be on site with you. Yeah. It'll be a miserable day with cold, <laughs> yeah. wet, you're moaning. No, I won't be moaning because I've got coffee. My coffee's brewing away. You your coffee? kettle's useless. What? Whoa, whoa, There's no whoa. power. So well, how did you then? charge your battery up? I brought a pre charged it just like you would do for your power tools. How about if I uh, preheat my water? If we're allowed to preheat stuff? This is called a, a thermos flask. It's a fantastic invention. So it's really clever. See that? That's yeah. a kettle, but I can't have that, you're telling me. It's really clever. So this thermos flask here, if I put something hot in it, mm -hmm. it stays hot. However, it's that clever and intelligent. It's a smart thermo thermos flask. It was right. easy for me to say, wasn't it? Yeah. Because if I put something cold in it, it stays cold. How does it know what's going in there is hot oh, and cold? Oh, it's a mystery that. We'll have to do another review on the thermos so, flask. So I'm going to make Hold on. Hang on. We'll, we'll, right. we'll, well, well, I want scientific here. Okay, yeah. so what? So uh, no, you open your flask. What's this? That's this is the temperature meter. Okay, I'll open my flask. Yeah. Let me bring the camera in. So let's see this. And yeah, here we go. Oh no, you I'll open do it. I like this. Yeah, yeah. Let's you just go. see how hot that water is. So I can check how hot my water is. Depends how long the journey was, wasn't oh, it? How long you've got a filter in there? You can't get to it. Oh, sorry about that. So we wouldn't have any old mucky water in there, would we? Yeah. That old wrist trying to get it undone. Here we go. So let's see the. There's your water there. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Put the right probe on it, my help. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that yeah, that's looks hot, remarkably like boiling, that doesn't it? Yeah. Almost. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Okay, and what we've got here is another new invention, Gordon. It's called the coffee bag made by Taylor's. So what happens is all of the coffee you need is contained within that bag and you just pour hot water onto it. No spooning it into a filter. When you finish with it, you just throw it in the bin. That's what you do with that one. So my water's nice and hot, so I think it suggests that maybe. Maybe it's time I made myself a cup of coffee. Yours ready yet, is it? Well, I've brought Help. my thermos flask to work with me. I'll get my coffee bag. Taylor's, again, not the 10 year variety. No cheese and biscuits going on here, Gordon. Yeah. Oh, I just undo it, oh, drop it into there. And I take this boiling water, well, 90, what is it, 92 degrees, and yep. I just pour it into there. And I like black coffee. Yeah. Okay. I just put, it almost sounds like filtered coffee, doesn't it? Yep. Fast filter. Oh, no mind, this is off. Well, at your age, is it causing you any inconvenience? Yeah. You're going to need to nip off and use yeah. the bathroom because I know often running water causes quick exit. does isn't the cold in this year. Look at this, 14 degrees in here. I'll just... Uh, Hold on, how long does it say on the instructions? It that says, to, wait for it, wait, it yeah. says, because I've read them because I do like a coffee bag. It says to squeeze it straight away mm -hmm. and leave it in there for two minutes. Uh. So we'll, uh, we'll get our spoon out and I'll just give it a little squeeze. Oh! He's broken the spoon. <laughs> Genuinely broke spoon. <laughs> so we'll recover that later. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. I broke spoony. Okay, and then you leave it in there for two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, you do. Okay. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. That was the best. Ba the be you know the best thing about this was the spoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. The rest of this was no good to anyone. No. Are you ready? Right. Are we having a coffee? It's nearly there. It's Is nearly there any there. more features you want to you know, uh, bring to our attention? Well, obviously, it doesn't have a mains lead. It doesn't have a mains lead because it works on a battery. How do you yeah. charge the battery? Uh, off the mains. Okay, off the mains lead. So there must be a lead for that somewhere that you're not showing me, yeah? Now, a little bit of science here. Obviously, here we, we, can, go. we can work this back and see afterwards. Obviously, let's see our, our tap and spring here. Okay, so we're going for, for what temperature that? I can't believe I broke spoonie. Here we go. Yeah. So let's have a look then. Right. Taplin Springs. 12.6 oh, degrees. 12.6. So that's our ambient temperature of our Taplin Springs, yes? Yeah. Now, obviously. Well, shall we, we, we the, try? the definition of a watt? A watt? Mm -hmm. um, go on, explain it to me. So I'll a watt is enough energy yes. yeah, to raise 
a litre of water by one degree Celsius. Okay. So in that battery, 54 watt hours, yeah, it's probably enough. <laughs> so that's enough. So that's enough to raise a litre of water yeah. by 54 degrees. Okay, in one hour. Uh, Did you say in one hour? No, so just enough hour? energy. No, no, there's 54. You could power 54 watts for an hour. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Okay. But that's, uh, yeah, so this is obviously a 300 watts. So, we'll, yeah, there's probably something for Joe. He could probably work that out and work do could. a complex equation to tell us what's going on. So. I found these in your uh, yeah. rucksack for work. Are they, uh, you know, because you obviously leak regularly. But is this your, is that yeah. point? Very quilted as well, Gordon. So what I'll do is I'll take mine out because I, I think my two minutes are up on my uh, tailor's bag. I still can't believe I broke Spoonie. Remember that, I broke Spoonie today. Write it down. So how's yours going? Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, oh, yeah, yeah. let's have a look. Your chamber's nearly empty. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, so when all of that's gone, mm. oh, I can, I can feel... Well, Smell I it. Oh, is that yours? Have you done something again? I don't know. I can't, I can't work it out. Mm. I can taste mine, I can't taste yours yet, can we? So we're still waiting. Savored, savored. So imagine you have, you know, you don't have an extended coffee or tea break on a construction site. Maybe you've got a limited amount of time. Maybe you work for a, an employer that gives you maybe 15 minutes. Are you suggesting well, 15 minutes in yet? Well, uh, you've got to drink it, yeah? You've yeah. got to obviously do all the other bits. Is it ready? It's getting there. We've got all these other great Makita tools. We've, we've reviewed the fan before on the channel. That was a great bit of fun. That was the first time we used a new bit of software. We didn't quite get the yeah. sound right, but we yeah. had a lot of fun doing that. We haven't reviewed this drill yet, and it's immense, isn't it? We've been everywhere with that. Yeah, yeah, that, that is, uh, yeah that's definitely worth it. Yeah. And we've also done the, the square hole saw, if you want to call it that, from uh, Triton Tools. Mm -hmm. um, check out that video as well. So that may be a little bit of a, a, a gimmick, but again, yeah, good reason to own one. Is it ready? Is it ready? Yeah, it's just on the last no, bit, just doing that last it? gurgling that when the light goes out. Oh, okay, shall we, <laughs> shall we brace, out brace ourselves for the light going out? So here we go, light's still on. Okay. How much it's what, just making that noise. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, it is, uh, isn't it? Can't smell yours, though. That's because it's waiting under the lid. Uh, is that? I thought it might be the bell calling us back to work after our 15 minute break. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Is that your stomach? See out there. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, hang on. It, it's Condensation, just, Gary. Just, just leaked. Yeah, got something else you've got in common with it. So we're nearly there. <laughs> Pop it out then. Are we, are we near the air? Come on. Meanwhile, back at the coffee machine. I'll pause with my milk. Oh. I'll take the temperature first. Right, it's done. It's done. So yeah. light's gone out. Right, okay, take its temperature. What are we going to well, be about 15 degrees? It's actually dropped it one degree. Oh, look at that. There's Muddy again, water. Yeah. Ah. Tepid. No, I call that, Gary, in the coffee world, a European temperature. Okay, well, I would call it the temperature that you'd have to have it to quickly drink it because your tea breaks yeah, over. Give us your and they're going to make it even colder, so put the milk in. Give us your broken spoon. Uh, broken spoonie. It's just a spoon now. It's lost its uh, mechanical device. Now, check the temperature oh, again. So, well, that's going to drop well, with the milk. Let's, let's see how cold it is now. So, um, um, what are we at now? No, not that one. Oh, you and your probes. Get your probe right. Come on. Um, what are we at? Wow. Yeah. Wow. But you, while you're waiting for yours to cool down. Yeah, but I've got plenty of time, haven't I? Jeez, it's a bit hot for me. Actually. A bit so, hot. Well, just just, just okay, I'm going to transfer it to another cup and, and make another one. All oh, right. Okay. Now. No, I'm not going to. I've experienced the uh, second cup before, haven't I? You've gone to yeah. me, Gaz. Oh, I've made you. myself a coffee. I'll make you one. Okay. And I've yet to have a cup of coffee out of this machine, have I? Because yeah, have no it's. Uh, yeah, it doesn't always uh, keep up with the uh, ability to make a second uh, beverage. So, yeah. oh, there's a lot of Taplin Springs going in there, mate. You can't give it away. It's not water. Right, here we go. So, right, we're going to so coffee we'll it up. That. Switch it on while I finish my coffee. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah, still drinking on. mine, so it's on. Oh, Hang on yeah. a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop there. Let's bring hand cam in. What? Turn it on. There we go. Okay, yeah. it's nicely on. Oh, there we go. All right, okay, it's bubbling. Did you put any coffee in there? Am I using your coffee again? Yeah, you're getting the dregs going. Okay, so we're off yeah. and running. So second cup's underway. We'll see. So we'll see how long it takes to make the second cup. So can you imagine the tea break? You're sitting there with your fellow colleague, and you're suggesting a beverage. You've knocked your first one out, coffee that is, and then obviously you're waiting for the second cup. How long are your tea breaks? How long are your coffee breaks? Oh, you can hear it. It's underway. Sounds a bit like you, that. You must need to go now. You must. 
Will it get to the second cup? We might, we might dissolve through at this moment in time mm. while we wait and see if we can get cup number two. It would right. do. Oh, it whoa, probably needs whoa, 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 whoa. Flashing light. What does that mean? Uh, oh, I don't know. Do you think flashing yeah. light. Well, uh, so, hang on. I can't hear anything now. So let's just whip the battery out the side there and let's press that little button on the side that indicates whether it's got any electricity in it. Battery warm anyway. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe we're going to hold a cup next to it. So. You ready? Yeah. Ah, hmm. that would suggest to me that this is flat. Okay, so we're not getting a second cup, are we? Uh, no. And it was fully charged before we start, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It's okay. warm. I mean, you've got a hand warmer here. You see, that, that yeah, battery is yeah. now oh, yeah. lovely and oh, warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's similar to a hot your, your beverage choice. that you give to your mate that you work with, isn't it? You know, so you can hold your coffee and I can hold this battery now, can't I? And think I'm having a hot drink. You Thank you for cross-pollinating my coffee with another coffee. Giving you a top-up. So... You can make one and a tiny bit of coffee. On that battery, yeah. On the, um, well, well, the battery you own. So is there a, a bigger one that we can get for this uh, Makita coffee maker? Yeah. Is there a bigger one? Uh, I think, yeah, you can get a big, you can get a five ampere hour. Okay, and yeah. is, is there another Well, that might do that? two, that might do two, no, you. Just, it goes in the same slot, No, you it? can swap it to a different battery. Okay, this, this, this. Well, just, perhaps you uh, have a dozen of these, yeah? Okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe I could just bring one large thermos flask, and get a whole day out of it, and you'd bring four of these to work to make four cups of coffee while you're there. Mm. Are we suggesting then, Gordon, that we might think that it's, uh, let's call the word gimmick? Uh, I'm yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Would you, if you were a self-respecting electrician still, serving out there in industry every day, <laughs> yeah? Would you waltz onto site with one of those under your arm and suggest you're here for a day's graft? No, no, you wouldn't, would you? No, not at all. I'd go on with the, I'd go on with the battery drum. I'd go on with their multi-saw for definite. And maybe in the summer, I might even take their fan on because that was quite powerful, wasn't it? Mm. I wouldn't see, be seen on a construction site without Makita Coffee Maker. Not because it doesn't make a cup of coffee, because it doesn't make two cups of coffee. And that doesn't make it very social, does it? No. We're always interested <laughs> in your feedback, and there should be loads on this. Have you got a Makita Coffee Maker? And we're doing something wrong. Oh, I don't know what we're doing wrong, but please leave those comments below so the community can join in. Were you considering buying a Makita Coffee Maker? Okay, and now maybe after this, you're desperately gonna rush out and buy one because of all the great features it comes with, or maybe you're reconsidering it. Maybe you've decided that the thermos flask that can hold hot and cold, so in the summer, can have cold drinks, yeah, is a better way forward, or, do we have a kettle and eventually find something on site that actually can charge up the electricity in there to boil water? We're always interested in those comments. Leave them below and he's getting back to all of them. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> ah, okay, before we give away any plaques, okay, I think there's a, another award that needs to be handed out. I think Joe, if you're watching this evening, I know you are, because I've seen you in the comments. I think you'll be, uh, Pleased with what's going to be dished out now. Gordon, over to you. What do you mean? I've moved on, guys. Yeah, well, I haven't. No, I've moved on. Yeah, I mean, I picked up a tip from Joe, so what I do now is I have a different drink now. I disguise a tea coloured drink. Right. Yeah. A tea coloured drink. Look in there. Yeah, looks yeah. like, yeah, tea with no milk. Yeah, but obviously a tea, you don't want to be seen drinking tea. I've disguised it in this beer bottle. Oh, right, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. You okay, like that? so you've got a cup of tea. Yeah. Okay, but you've been disguising it in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Joe's yeah. done the same with Ribena so and same, apple juice. Same cup we used there. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll escalate quickly if you don't get on with it. Mm. So, um, I think what you deserve is something maybe also a plaque, yeah. maybe a blue plaque. Would you like to suggest it looks like this one here? Come on, Gordon. There, here we go. It's from our historical society. It should be hysterical society after that thing there. Trust me, we love a lot of the products by Makita, but that one, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Today's date, yeah, and you admit you were wrong. Were you wrong? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm normally, you know, I like to normally think I'm ahead of the curve on the tech, and I spotted that. I thought that, that's, that's, that's good. I like fresh coffee, you know, probably yeah. save time going to the site, but yeah, okay, on this occasion, reluctantly, mm -hmm. I have to accept the uh, blue plaque. Yeah, I mean, one cup of coffee, um, and we've done a couple of trial runs where it didn't even get to the third of a cup that it actually <laughs> made on camera. We were really surprised it managed to drain the energy out of that battery in order to squirt out another third of a cup of coffee. Yeah. I'd like to thank uh, My Energy. Okay, I've been using their mug uh, for that one and today for this. Um, they've helped me out recently. So My Energy, the maker of the Zappy 2 EV charging, we've tore it down on the channel. We've also reviewed it. I'd like to thank them as well. And I've been drinking from their mug today and it tastes so much sweeter when Gordon has to admit 
he was wrong. Mm. And that is the first time that Gary's ever been captured making a cup of coffee. <laughs> I mean, that is a, mm. yeah, that should be a, a plaque just for that. I'll, I'll, I'll put a statue outside. Yeah. yeah. And if, but if you've got anybody who's been, uh, yeah, admitted they were wrong recently, uh, yeah, you can get yourself or them. You can treat them to a blue plaque if you just uh, drop us a message. Uh, obviously drop their contact uh, details as well we will corroborate the historical moment and in the new year we will be producing some yep. blue plaques for some other efix viewers as well Absolutely. so if you've been yeah everyone needs to when you're wrong it can be yeah it can be yeah mind check yeah change your moment it's a great so. moment if you sit here it's a great moment yes that's true and of course you might have witnessed there and joe did as well <laughs> perhaps the end of spoonie <laughs> as he um <laughs> finally gave up okay yeah. So now the uh, Weehouse uh, Speedy One is now useless. I mean, yeah. he's kind of in stir coffee. I think I've still got Forky somewhere. I'm going to dig out Forky. Right, so we delayed it long enough now because we've, we've got to give stuff away, Gordon. That's what we're here to do. We're going to give stuff away. Drink your tea. Yeah, have another it. slug of your tea. So you've had a plaque. I think it's the next one. We'll do the supplier. Yes. The live feed week. So, of course, we had, um, I think it was nine. nine. We'll have to, yeah. So we'll thank our supplies first. So okay, we'll, yep, so there they are. Terms. So one video we put up and, and they were a bit premature. A new product was sneaking out and they were oh they were inundated with calls for it uh, which we had to, we had to, yeah we pulled that one back so, off so it will be back but yeah. big thanks to uh, natatmo yeah. so we've got some great videos coming out with them in the new year with some more smart products and it's a great opportunity for electricians yeah. uh, to get involved with we'll enjoy making those uh, biggest delivery we've ever had or the heaviest delivery we've ever had the ev blocks oh yeah, yeah. Uh, great product from yeah, philips product. Uh, some retrofit um some retrofit lamps for uh, high bears, yeah. and obviously we had the fantastic UVC chamber, which we just got rid of today. We have. Yeah. Uh, we should have got rid of it yesterday. That's a different story. Mm. Yeah. Gary's not a friend with DHL at the minute. No. But, no. Uh, no. Yeah, Schneider Electric, uh, Lumino, Luden Palazzoli, JCC, uh, Atco, Hamilton, and Knightsbridge this month. So. Yeah. All sponsored the live feed event, so that meant that we can give away some great stuff and as well produce some great videos looking at all the new stuff coming out. So one of them is one, the supplier. So this is it. This is a Stephen Horrell moment. He likes this bit where we have to give away a plaque. The supplier of December's uh, live feed event was Atco, wow. wasn't it? It was. Well, building up to it there. Well, no, just, just get it out. Let's get to the okay. real prize. Atcor won that one, all right? Okay. With their uh, basket. Yeah, and that was a product we picked it up. Thought, wow. I mean, that's it. <laughs> what is it? You know, it was, uh, how can we uh, how can we turn this into a, into a great start? And that went down, yeah, yeah, enormously well with with the viewers. Some great comments. Yeah. Uh, obviously, people. Yeah, we will be doing more in industrial space. You've still got the bolt croppers behind yeah, it. No, I loved it. Haven't left your side. The Marco uh, cable basket here. We yeah. loved a bit of cable basket. We got, and thanks for supporting the video. We've got lots of views. Okay, lots of comments again. Some suggesting X, Y, and Z about cable train relationship to basket. As long as you're not offensive, we just love comments. Okay, we want yeah. people to interact, give us a feeling. Today we had. Yeah. Um, well, we've got that one over there. Do that one first, then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We had our, yeah. Even turned the yeah cable basket into to some uh, yeah to christmas decorations and as the live um, chat was going through somebody suggested we should be looking at the draper torque screwdriver is that right what was that gentleman yes yousef 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 so yeah i mean we can yeah we'll, we'll like, send us the part number and we'll try and get hold of one remember when we get hold of one we don't get a chance to give them away so oh that leads us quite nicely into something else doesn't it before we get to the prizes oh yeah we're gonna so Christmas is here, okay? Not everybody celebrates Christmas, and we respect that around the world and through the UK, that not everybody uh, celebrates Christmas. However, during this time, it doesn't matter who you are and where you are in the UK, that we're gonna be doing something called the 12 Tools of Christmas, aren't we? We are. And the 12 Days of Christmas, which was inspiring this, which yeah. day uh, does that start on? That uh, starts on Christmas Day. Okay, so we will be releasing at six o'clock, we've agreed, every day from Christmas Day for 12 consecutive days, a tool review okay you've actually seen the comical funny one that we've already done so, yeah it's one uh, of them yeah one of them is the makita coffee maker that will come back out on its own it's slightly longer if you could believe it or not um and yeah so that one will be dropping out but we're also then got obviously 11 other videos that you haven't seen and it's getting a bit busy around here with kit yeah it is yeah. it do is we, do we need another 11 tools uh no no i mean that's uh, no what that's should some... we do with the ones we reviewed well some of them yeah, there's something we've got to hold on to. There's some there's some tools that we've never seen before, and you've probably never seen before. Um, 
and and yeah so but there's yeah selection no i think we'll have to uh, we'll yeah. have to give some away again. yeah we'll have to give some away so we're gonna make it nice and easy for you so as and when those drop get on the comments so don't just leave one comment let's see if you can go back in answer a question of somebody else perhaps respond to their comment in a positive way or reflecting your views on something about the product etc so if we think you're really busy on one of those videos it might be that we contact you through the usual social media ways and we'll send you something in the post you'll win yourself maybe the tool that's in the video or a slightly different tool but most of them are going to be the tools in the video and there's some great tools there is there's some yeah there's some being been some great fun we've just literally we have just literally finished making those videos do you want to suggest how many videos videos were made in the last three days and you weren't here for one of them yeah 12 and the live stream and yeah. something else that we've got to finish bit, off before bit of I go home. Yes. yeah so we've been really busy so there we go so they're, they're coming out from Christmas Day onwards six o'clock every evening the 12 tools of Christmas so get involved and win some great prizes let's give away the real stuff now shall we so yeah. next one down we've got is technical question of the week Okay, these are we find these people really difficult to get hold of again, though, don't we? After we've given yeah, these sometimes away. yeah, because obviously it's YouTube comment. We don't have necessarily a name and address. Sometimes we can check you down. Sometimes people pick strange, <laughs> strange usernames. They do. Yeah. So this one here then for technical question of the week came with a question on EV blocks. Wasn't yes, it? it was, and that was Tim Earp. Okay, tin up. So, a question on the EV blocks. Um, can you remember off your top of your head? Something to do with them, uh, SIM cards. Or, yeah, there's, there's all sorts. Yeah, okay. Joe, Joe picked it out. Okay. So, he's, uh, yeah. So I think he picked it out and because EV blocks had already answered it. Oh, right. Oh, to, wow. That was really good. To, so, shirk a bit of work. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, if you are watching the live stream or you're watching it when it's uh, played back and you think, hang on, that's me. I want me plaque and me prize. Again, try and contact us as well. We'll try and reach out to you. Instagram's probably your best way or direct message us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be good. Yeah. So, we're in touch. Shall we bother with the big prizes or, or not? Do you want to bother with them? Shall we just end it, now? end it for the year now, aren't we? Yeah. No, best we guess. We're, best. we're not giving so that one away first. We're giving no. this one away first. Okay. Let's have a quick look in the box. Okay, so in the box, if we remember to put everything into the box that we send you, you're getting some or all of this. You're going to get some lubrication. You've got the Twin Earth Stripples from Ideal Industries. You've got a Seco, couple of the Seco lights. We have side cutters and hacksaw. What else have you got? Ideal Industries, um, connectors as well, spirit level. These as well, we love those. Okay, those small screwdrivers as well. So, someone's won that. How did they win it? How did they win it? They had to be first to complete the quiz that goes along with the live feed videos. So would, it was first. Would you, to like to, would you like to say the real person that completed the quiz first and got them all right? Uh, well, yeah, obviously that was you. Yeah, but you set the questions. I still got them all right when I had to test it. Well, I'd I'd hope so. So, so yeah, you still had to, you still asked me to check. I knew I got them all right. No, you asked me to check. Can you yeah, check I got them all right? Well, I checked you got them all right, so I did the software bit right. You know, so, I gave, so thank you. I've won the box of stuff then. Is that how it works? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would have been nice. <laughs> I want to win that one. <laughs> so the winner, who was first, was... It's a Get new name for us. Yes, hmm? it is a new name for us, yeah. Yeah, it was. Craig Wonga. Right. And what part of the world is he in? He's in... Bognor Bognor Regis. Regis. Yeah, he's Bognor Regis. So, Greg, you've won that. We've got all your address because obviously you entered and that, and it's down to Gordon to get it in the post. So, hopefully before Easter. Yeah, but we have a terrible problem with the post. I'm sure yeah. everyone has. Yeah, been it's been awful. awful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, think, right. Yeah, Craig Gifford never nearly got that shirt that he never wore on social media, did he? No, no, no he hasn't. Yeah. So that was for completing, um, getting them all right, and you were the first person to get them all right. And then we got the rest of the seven days to randomly select someone. And again, this name, I don't believe I've heard this name before. Well, I'm going to show you yeah, the win I'm first. Just, yeah. Getting up, yeah. getting up. <laughs> here we go. So, yeah, look at what oh, we've got in here. This no. is the pouch. Oh, no, no, it's there. I thought you'd... Yeah, that's yeah. mine. No, Gary wants that. I want that. So, yeah, not getting it. I want Keeping that. Keeping it. Spirit level. Great key there. Useful for your cabinets. Yeah. Mm, watch for that. Key. Gary, again, wanted that because it's nice blunt. Fantastic cutters there. We'll review with Craig Gifford. Yeah, Check no, out that review. Ooh. Oh, getting a feral crimping tool as well. Feral crimping, proper one, not the uh, not the uh, equivalent you may find on some of the ones. The ergo strip and the box itself. That's a lovely prize, isn't it? It is a lovely prize. Okay, so next week we'll tell you who won that. So we do that. So we'll run out of time. Come back in the new year, find out who won it, yeah? <laughs> Go on then, so, so tell them what part of the world they live in. Uh, so they live in Hamilton area. Hamilton, okay. Scotland, Gary. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I that would that. have guessed that, but yeah. I probably would have Big guessed. Volvo factory there, been there. Okay, yeah. boxy but good. They used to say about Volvos, didn't they? Yeah. Construction equipment, Gary, there, not the cars. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Big, big, great. Back here. 
Well, so the winner from <laughs> from Hamilton is James Kane. Okay, brilliant, James Kane. You, you're the winner of that box down there, and again, sometime before Easter, that should arrive <laughs> with you. Depending Perhaps on minus the pouch. Yes, yeah, the pouch. Yeah. Don't mind if you want to leave me the pouch. So we come to the conclusion of a really busy year for us at eFix and a really challenging year for I think everybody in 2020. And we're here at eFix, we've been uh, we haven't been immune to those challenges on everybody's personal level within the team. However. We were pleased to bring you all the video content that we did. We've had a great time doing it. We love doing the live streams. We're going to continue those on next year. Uh, we're hoping to set a, a timetable for them. So we know tonight we didn't drop out very early that we were coming on, etc. If you got to the end of the video, you're probably a keen follower of us anyhow. We're going to try and give it almost a, a by month date. So you'll see clearly when we're going to do our live streams and add a little bit more structure to them. Yeah, we? some more things. We've got, we've got some great new uh, features coming up that we've, uh, we've been working on in our heads. <laughs> we've just got to turn into reality. Yeah. And, and again, it's always, yeah, thanks to everyone who watches, who comments, yeah. you know, that, that drives what we do. Uh, obviously, you know, we do take feedback on board. Sometimes we have to take a, ouch. <laughs> but, uh, Make it less personal. But everything, yeah, the comments we get back, we hope the help, we hope the videos help you yeah. in, in what you do in your daily life. We hope to bring some new opportunities out there. But the comments you give back to us obviously help us, they inspire us, yeah. you know, do more of that, <laughs> do less of that. He's off on the uh, give, give, give answers to questions. Um, and, uh, yeah, it all helps. But I hope everybody has an absolute fantastic break. Yeah, yeah. Happy holidays, so we yeah. can co cover everybody out there. Uh, have safe. Let's be well, and let's return in 2021. And together, let's have some fun. But let's also yeah make it an experience where we can perhaps grow as electricians and contractors as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>